out of two hours. I doubt I'll study. Okay, perfect. You'll really study one hour, 10 minutes. Okay, now I, I'm getting some real answers. 30 minutes, 1.5 hours, 20 minutes, one minute, two minute, 30 minute, one hour, probably 45 minutes, 30 minutes, zero, five minutes, 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, one hour, four hours only. Okay. Five minutes with full concentration, only 20 minutes. And listen to me, anyone who said more than 45 minutes, at least don't lie here. This is not a test. Okay. I'm sure. Okay. I have been, I am a graduate from IIT. I have been through 11th and 12th and I know how much we study. So at least don't lie here. Okay. This is not your school, not, not your college, not your parents are not looking here. Okay. So how much time do you actually study on an average 30 minutes to 45 minutes? And I love honest answers. People have written two minutes, five minutes, three minutes, zero minutes. My parents are sitting beside me. So I'm writing good answers. <laughs> okay. Now the point is what happens the other time? What happens the rest of the time? So we think TV, mobile, smartphone, 25 minutes, mind wanders to other thoughts. We get diverted. We act of study. You know, I'll tell you a story. You know, I was, uh, I'm a product of Kota factory. I'm sure you have watched that series. So I was in Kota and you know what? I was a very horrible student. My mother used to live with me. So in Kota, usually parents don't stay with their kids. Okay. But I was a unique child. Uh, so my mother was staying with me and she used to cook for me every day. And so that I could study properly. Everything for was set up for me. Like I had a vehicle, I had my mom, I had a proper house. Everything was there. You know what? I started studying. So uh, every day morning, my mom used to wake me up at six o'clock. You know how Indian parents are. Getting up early in the morning will sort everything in our life. This is what their belief is, isn't it? Now I started studying at six o'clock in the morning and I was reading, reading, reading something I was doing. Now my mom gave me breakfast at eight o'clock. Okay. And then she gave me lunch at 12 o'clock. Now guess what? She saw the page number at 6 AM that was 72. She saw the page number at 12 a.m. That was 12 p.m. That was still 72. So my mom really wanted to know what was happening in six hours. What was I doing? You know, uh, I am from an era where Doraemon, Dragon Ball Z, everything was very popular. Now, because I was not getting the access to watch all these series, I was creating my own series in my mind. For six hours, I created almost 20 episodes. What is going to happen in Dragon Ball Z? So this is what happens with us. And I know that, you know what? All those who are laughing right now and those who are relating, you know why we are laughing? Because everybody is the same. We know that Hamara now Dubra, Unka bhi now Dubra. Everyone is in the same boat. Isn't it? What do you say now? Imagine a situation. So suppose your exam is tomorrow. Okay. Are you studying with hundred percent focus? Yes or no? Really? Have you given IIT the, the neat examination? If you have an exam tomorrow, you don't study. You guys are cool, cool dudes. Partially yes and no. If your exam is tomorrow, I'm sure you, you study. Okay. Now the difference is when your exam is two months later, you're absolutely relaxed. Am I right? 
and if your exam is one day tomorrow you are absolutely focused do you agree to this and you know the series of events that happen one night before the examination have you ever prayed to god god please do something and postpone the exam by one day just by one day do something why don't tsunami come here or the earthquake or bomb blast or or something happens to the principal or the teacher have you prayed this but the god actually has listened to only people who are giving exams in 2020 by postponing the exams again and again and again and again but we didn't have that liberty right and the exam shows up now see the series of events one night before of course we start studying then we get into the mind of the invigilator or the person who sets the paper and decide okay this is the question that is going to come i am telling you and we argue with our friends right then we start studying and after a time we need a break yes everyone needs a break now when you take a break whom do you call your friend and what do you what do you uh, ask your friend what do you ask your friend tera kitna hua isn't it and we know whom to call we don't call a topper we call someone who has not not even started studying yet and we feel so happy has this happened to you right true story now in this all this drama a lot of time is lost now suddenly we become very spiritual who am i what is going to happen if i study this year you know steve jobs dropped out from college microsoft uh, sachin tendulkar dropped out of from college dhirubhai ambani not studied at all yes happened yes or no now what happens during the exam we have already discussed the scenario you study a lot and then suddenly you are writing your question paper you are writing your answer sheet and then you remember a question's answer but not at that point of time and you remember it after the examination is over now the entire process of learning takes place with these two things first is being relaxed and second being focused for anything to learn if you want to learn anything new you should have a focused mind but to retain that information and recall that information again you need to have a relaxed mind do you agree to this point type yes in the chat box if if you agree so we have this combination being focused and relaxed you know what interesting thing is that we have this already in us we already have this combination but in only those things where we are interested right like watching netflix watching youtube watching instagram we don't need focus and relaxation we're already there while watching a movie how many of you have seen uh, titanic type t in the chat box if you have seen titanic okay quickly type the name of the actor very good and who was the actress brilliant okay what was how many how much time has passed since you have watched the titanic last time when did you see the titanic movie last time 6 years 10 years 2 months a few years ago 7 years ago those who are watching titanic 2 days before you don't have any other better movie to watch like youtube is filled with movies yaar what are you doing get a life watching right now this is next level nowadays movies are trash only titanic was good with that main scene where the hand comes and goes slowly down 
Now, why do you remember everything of this movie? Because you were relaxed and you were focused, isn't it? We are so focused while watching a movie, even if something happens in our house, we don't care. But we are relaxed at the same time. So this quality is there with us. Now, what we need to do is we need to develop it for those things where we are not so interested, like studies. Are you getting it? So concentration is basically the definition of concentration is this having a focused and relaxed mind at the same time. Are you getting it? Agreed. Are you on the same page? Are we on the same page? Now let us play a game and quickly see this. If this can be done with techniques, are you in? Okay, perfect. Now I want you all to keep your hands like this. Okay. First switch on your videos and then keep your hands like this. I want to see what's happening. Now listen very carefully. Okay. Come on. Yaar. Raju, come on, sit straight. Are you old or what? Like sitting like this, sit straight, sit straight. Everyone sit straight. Don't take supports and all this program is not for people who are old. Perfect. Now listen carefully. There are two rules to this game. Okay. Let me, let me tell you the name of the game. The name of the game is called as the clap game. What is it called? Clap. So what, what, what are you supposed to do? Clap. Okay. Come on. Show me how you, how do you clap? Come on. Be hundred percent. Come on. This is very dull. Yaar. Meri dadi isse achcha karegi. Thoda aur zor se, achche se. Come on. Be your hundred percent. Best. Ek dam. Keep continuously clapping like a small kid. Your palm should get red like that. Perfect. Stop. Okay. Ha ah, hands, hands like this. Rohit, come on. Now listen to the rules very carefully. There are two rules to this game. Okay. Rule number one. Rule number one is as soon as I say the word clap, you have to start clapping continuously being hundred percent like a kid. Rule number one. If you heard it properly, say yes, like this. Say yes, like this. Okay. Rule number two. Whenever I say the word stop, you have to stop. Did you hear it properly? Say yes. Shreya, see the better. See the better. See the better. Perfect. So you're clear with both the rules. Yes. Are you ready for the game? Yes. Is this no is this? Yes. Perfect. So one, two, three, start. Okay. What was the rule of the game? When were you supposed to clap? When I say the word clap, did I say the word clap? I said the word start and everybody's like, wow, no, there are some people who are intelligent. I can see that they didn't, they didn't start clapping because I said the word start. But let me tell you, I have already used the word clap four times. The rule is whenever you hear the word clap, you have to clap. Did you hear the word clap? This is the sixth time I'm saying the word clap. Seventh time I'm saying the word clap. Still people are not getting it. Eighth time I'm saying the word clap. Come on, at least now clap. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What was rule number two? Stop. Perfect. I love it. Divya, Shweta. The rule number two was when I say the word stop, you have to stop. I said, wait. Oh, now did you get it? Are you ready for the game now? As soon as you hear the word clap, you have to clap. I said it twice already. Come on. Stop. Now let's be quick. Okay. Let's be quick. Can you play better than this? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Start. 
there are some still still some people who actually clapped now i and they were their reaction i'll tell you the reaction i didn't do it i didn't do it i didn't do it okay get ready get ready come on i want better than this yaar come on 1 2 3 clap 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 100% 100% stop clap vaibhav i already said clap stop let's be quick let's be quick and fast start perfect bahut badhiya very intelligent clap stop clap stop clap stop clap stop very good bahut hi bahut hi badhiya very nice do you want to play level 2 Yes or no? Level two of this game. Okay, hands like this. If I clap, you clap with me. Okay. If I clap, you clap with me. If I don't, you don't. Cool. Ready? Perfect. Brilliant. Ah, got it. Come on, come on, be be here, be here. Last two times. This was cheating on my part. Come on, I agree. Okay, now quickly, I want you all to write what was your learning of this. What was the learning of this game? Focus. attention concentration word play concentration attention focus plus enjoying be attentive be relaxed and focus listening skill you are not always focus focus and concentration reflex action present mind listening is directly proportional to attention or uh, listening is directly proportional to focus think and react speeding up our nerves ekagrata done okay now i want to tell you this are you listening to me better than before show me a thumbs up are you here with me better than before yes see if i can get minds of 242 people here can you not do it yourself of course yes but acha now don't go and experiment okay my mind is not here let me clap is going to work it was just a demonstration that it is very much possible there are tools and techniques which can get your mind to present moment but we need to learn that so there are multiple things what i want you to write down on on your uh, notebook notebook and a pen you have a notebook and a pen right everyone here wants to be fast in their studies and in, in their reading write be fast b e f a s t be fat nahi be fast lockdown mein log be fat likh rahe interesting be fast no not not in the chat box in your notebook and pen it's not for me it's for you now b stands for believe write down write down write down b stands for believe now what does believe mean means it simply means if you believe you are a fast reader you are if you don't believe you're a fast reader you're not as simple as that if you believe i'm confident i am if you believe i'm not confident i'm not whatever you believe is going to come true if you believe you have a good memory you have if you believe you do not have you're not you don't have let me be very honest actually there is nothing called as a good or bad memory 
there is only a trained memory and an untrained memory there is only a trained skill and an untrained skill nobody comes born with some skills they have to develop it isn't that true there are times that people have an extra edge they might have something in their dna but everybody needs practice you agree to this yes but proper techniques can help us do it better so b stands for believe so what do you believe do you believe you are a good person you believe you you can read faster can you do, can you believe that talent is only and only a product of hard work there was a question so i just answered it it was random now e in the b e b fast e in the b is exercise you know the primary function of brain what is it to move our body the primitive most primitive function of our brain is to move our body if you stop moving your body you start losing on your brain as simple as that very important to exercise f in the fast stands for forget now you know the most so this personally i faced a lot i i was i was a student in iit and i thought that i know it all and i am sure a lot of us here think that they know it all if you want to learn something new you have to start forgetting things what you have learned already otherwise it's not going to work a fast me a stands for being active what does being active mean active mean are you interacting with others are you interacting are you asking questions are you taking notes is your video on are you participating this is called being active are you getting it b stands for believe okay b e f a where are we s s stands for the state of mind is your state of mind good right now i am sure after the club game it is much better isn't it earlier it was scattered a little bit here and there yes f a s t t stands for teach now if i tell you that you you have to teach whatever i said to somebody else will you not be more attentive automatically always learn with an intention of teaching someone else always okay don't ask questions right now just keep answering in the chat box i am not going to read the questions if you want if you have any questions you, we can take it later at the end okay b stands for believe e stands for exercise f stands for forget a stands for active s for state t for teach are you getting it so this is the first thing now let us quickly do an exercise so before uh, so if you have if you don't have a book i want you to go grab a book and open a page where you where which you have not read mostly if you have not read if you have already finished the book you can start with the first page first i mean the chapter 1 okay now i'm going to time you for a minute for one minute i'm going to time you what i want you to do is read just read the book how much ever you can okay so let me screen share the timer oh where's the timer okay uh, let us do start and stop i'll say the word start so you start reading and when i say stop just stop wherever you are okay is that okay let me see again if i share the screen not helping okay 1 2 3 start
and three, two, one, stop. Okay, now we are going to do a short exercise. I want you to count the number of words. Uh, I want you to count the number of lines that you have read. Write down in the notebook the number of lines that you have read. Don't consider a line if there are two words in the line. You know, so this is not something you want to showcase to others. This is for your personal growth. So don't cheat yourself at least. Just count the number of lines. Count the line only if it is more than half. Write down the number of lines in the chat box. Perfect. Now count the number of words in three lines. First three lines, count the number of words. Count the number of words in first three lines. Okay, write down that number in your notebook. Don't write in the chat box, it's okay, not required. Okay, now whatever your number was, counting the number of words, divide that number by three. It should be approximately 10. On an average, there are usually in a normal novel, there are 10 to 12 words. Right? Yeah, 12.5, 11, 10. Okay, now whatever your number is, multiply this number with the number of lines. So what is it going to be? Your total words in a minute that you have read. I hate math. Perfect. Eight hundred words in a minute. Six hundred and eighteen. Very good. Six thirty. Don't give complex to others. Perfect. Now what we are going to do is we are going to use Acha. Tell me how many of you while counting the numbers use your finger or pen and did this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How many? Finger, pen, perfect. Now you know why did you do this? Because it's easier for the eye to follow something move. Doing. Are you getting it? You know, this is a very primitive response. When we were hunters, either we wanted food and we didn't want to become someone else's food. So we always had to keep an eye on any movement. Are you getting it? So our brain is uh, what you call uh, customized to follow movement. Right? That's why we are very addicted to anything which is visual. Any movie or any uh, video that we are watching, we get glued to it because it's moving. Now, what we usually, how do we read a book? If you are reading a book without a, uh, without a visual pacer. Now, this technique which, which we are going to discuss right now, it's called as a visual pacer. I'm sure you understand by the meaning, visual pacer. Now, either you use your finger or your pen as a visual pacer. What you need to do is very simple. Don't touch the pen or your finger directly on the book. Lightly up, slightly up, and just keep following it under the line like this. Just follow it, follow it, follow it, and make sure you follow the eye. Okay, don't hold, hold on, hold on. Listen to me first, Pura. Divya, wait. 
follow your visual pacer, whatever it is, either your finger or your pen, and just keep scrolling it, scrolling it, scrolling it. And when you are, so what happens is that you, it, it is easier for your eye to follow the movement. Now, initially it can be tough for a minute or so, but by practice, this should become a habit. Now, second thing what we do is that if we are reading really slow, you know why we don't have attention or why is our attention span less? Do you know, do you know the reason? Because we are extremely intelligent and we need a constant feed of information. Our brain is amazing. And if you do not give the brain good information, it will go for any information, if it is bad or not, bad or good, whatever. So now while studying, while reading, if you don't give the information fast to your brain, your brain is going to go elsewhere. Are you getting what I'm saying? So it is very important for you to have a visual pacer and maintain a good speed. I'm not saying do not uh, lose your comprehension in the process. I'm not saying that. But if you are not maintaining the speed with the finger, you are actually going to get lost in your thoughts. And that is what happens. Have, has this happened to you that you started reading the page and at the end of the page, you didn't have any idea what was written on the page ever? How many of you relate to this? Right? Because our information feeding was so slow that our brain started developing or thinking about any something else. Right? Now, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start a timer. Now, I want you to put, put a mark where you have stopped. Okay, don't do cheating. This is your self-assessment. I don't need a proof of what this, if does this technique work or not. I know it works. Okay, so do this for yourself. Put the mark in the margin. Now, when I say start, you start reading with the visual pacer. Just follow the uh, either your pen or finger under the line and just keep reading, reading, reading. Hold on, hold on. I'll time you. You know, anything, if you want to measure the progress, you need to, uh, if you want to know if you're progressing, you need to measure it, right? So this is the measurement test if you're progressing. And this technique can instantly boost your reading speed. Okay. Now I'll start the timer and you can then uh, you can then uh, tell me the number of lines and the words. Okay. Is that okay? Everyone agree? Okay. So can you see the timer? Is it visible? How much ever it is, but I hope it's working. So one, two, three and start. And stop. Now read the number of lines. Cal calculate the number of lines. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Don't write anything in the chat box. Calculate the number of lines. Bol rao mat liko chat pe. Ruk jao. So you have a word per minute before the technique and word per minute after the technique. Multiply this number of lines with the number of words in one line. Now, what I want you to write down is the percentage in increase, percentage improvement. So how do you calculate the percentage? You subtract the 
uh, second number, subtract the first number from the second number and divide it by first number, multiply by 100. So you are, suppose your uh, first score was A, second score was B. So you do B minus A upon A into 100. And type the percentage in the chat box now. Mukun says about 50%. 25%. 33, 45, 69, 11, 31, 30, 25, 40, 16, 49, 20, 99, 25. Okay, perfect. So on an average, if you use this technique, the improvement is 25 to 50% on an average. It can be more or it can be less depending upon how already what habits you are, uh, how you're reading. Now I'll tell you a story. You know, uh, there was this... Uh, very big power plant. I'm sure you have, you must have heard the story earlier, but I'm just repeating it again. And there was this very big power plant and it suddenly shut down. Now, uh, this owner of this power plant, the person who's in charge, he frantically calls a person who is an expert. Okay, can you please come? We are like losing a lot of time and a lot of energy. So we really needed to kickstart this power plant again. So he's like, okay, okay, I'm around the corner, I'll come. Then this person goes. Now he sees that there are very big, very big rooms. He goes to one room. He goes to one panel. He opens that panel and he hits one of the elements. And the power plant starts. Now he's, okay, thank you so much. Very helpful of you. It was so easy. I don't know why we couldn't get in all that. This is the the action of the owner, of the person who is in charge of the power plant. Now he says, okay, what is your bill? So he says, 10,000 rupees. He's like, what? You just came and did one hit. Why are you charging so much? He said, I want an itemized bill. If you give me an itemized bill, I'll give you the, uh, I'll give you the payment, no problem. He's like, okay, he takes out his notebook, writes down, tears the, tears the page and gives it to him. And that person sees it and says, okay, okay. So he goes inside and just gives him a check of 10,000 rupees. Now, what was written on the invoice? What was written on that bill? Hitting the hammer, 100 rupees. Knowing where to hit the hammer, 9,900 rupees. Now, these techniques are like that knowing part, where to hit the hammer. And let me be honest with you. You tell me, after becoming an engineer, are you going to put a lot of physical effort or a lot of mental effort? Are you going to put a lot of physical effort or mental effort? Mental, of course. I don't know why people are saying both, but you know, see people who work as laborers, how much they keep, get paid and people who work mentally, how much they are paid. So if you want to get a good salary, good pay slip, good paycheck, you should know how to learn things faster and you should have this knowledge bank ready with you. You know, knowledge is not only power, not knowledge is also profit in today's time. Isn't it? So these techniques, you know, there are multiple techniques. This is just an example of one technique that, that how you can boost your memory, uh, boost your speed reading. Now, second thing I'm going to tell you, it's just theoretical because practical is not possible right now. That is called a sub vocalization. Now, what is sub vocalization? Tell me when, uh, when was the last time you actually took a class for reading, how to read? 
when was the time where you actually learned how to read now you know reading when you were a, when you were a kid you didn't know how to read so there was some time where you actually learned how to read upper kg first standard nursery and how are we taught that teacher tells us to take this book in our hand and start reading isn't it so what do we do we re read it out aloud so that the teacher knows if we are pronouncing it correct or not yes or no now this is a problem you know why why reading tell me how many of you do this you actually read the entire sentence mentally entire sentence mentally and you know a person average person can maximum speed up to 250 to 300 words a minute while speaking and that's your inner voice speed also do you know there are people who can read at 1000 words per minute 1200 words per minute you know people there are people like this so john f kennedy is one of the presidents of uh, usa he used to read at 1000 words per minute and he used to speak at 300 words per minute now there's a difference of 700 words so this is called as sub vocalization when you are reading inside now if you want to read faster you have to overcome this habit of reading everything okay i'll give you an example when you look at the word apple just one word if you just look at the word one word apple don't you form an image already in the mind or you have to read the word apple like like if 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 you are a kid bachpan mein we used to do this a p p l e apple we have to read the entire spelling and then we could read it oh this is apple now when we just look at the word apple an image forms in the mind similarly you don't need to read mentally all the words just by looking at the words you can actually start knowing what's written and this is something which is very much possible in a matter of around 15 20 days there are some tools and techniques we we need to practice that can help you do this how interesting would that be you know uh, i have personally taught this program to around 200 250 students in the past uh, in this lockdown people start with like 130 words per minute 140 words per minute 200 words per minute and after the program what is their speed it's usually 400 to 600 i have a student who so my currently my speed is 600 words per minute but i have a student who reads at 750 words per minute so this is very much possible only tools and techniques you remember uh, 20 years back if someone used to solve the rubik's cube he was a brilliant person but today everyone can solve the rubik's cube why because tools and techniques are available to everyone it's same so if we know the tools and techniques it becomes easier so that's all for today you have two things to practice first is your visual pacer and second thing what you need to do is sit upright while re reading don't don't look down and read if you look down and read you get tired more easily you sit upright and read okay and that's all from my side for today okay interesting thing if you are interested in learning more about speed reading if you are interested in mastering this program so this uh, so now actually I, i i don't know why we are doing this but because aict has requested us usually we don't do this but this offer is only for you guys so we have included the speed reading program also as part of this so you get the speed reading program you get the career game plan you get the memory mastery you get the 30 day yogic fitness with the online meditation and breath workshop
I really don't know why we are giving you all these things, but uh, this is a request from AICT that whoever is interested, this is what where you you get everything. This is the link. I'll just copy paste this link for you guys on the chat box. And today's tomorrow. We start the program tomorrow evening. And so again, if you have joined us today, I'll tell you what all is this. So there's one online meditation and breath workshop, which will help you to understand the concepts of meditation and how to use your mind to your benefit. One, what does lifetime membership mean? Lifetime membership means that every Sunday we are going to have a follow-up session where some or the other industry expert is going to interact with you. There is a lot of premium content that we share on WhatsApp group. The current WhatsApp group are going to be dissolved after today's session. What is Yes Plus program? Yes Plus program is our on-campus program, which is worth 2,500 rupees. But because you are doing this program, we are going to give you the membership for that program in whichever college you are. The Yes Plus program happens as part of the, uh, what do you call it, extracurricular activity and you get the access to that. So we, we discussed about exercise today. It is very important to exercise. So I myself am a yoga instructor as well after graduating from IIT because yoga was something which brought a lot of change in me. I went on to pursue a level two certification from government. So you get to do the 30 day uh, fitness program with us. You get to learn the memory mastery program. You get to learn the career game plan where you will know what is best for you as a career. And the fourth bonus that we are going to give is speed reading. If you master all these things, I can tell you, you will be among the top 2% of the population. So that's all from my side. Uh, ha. So this offer is for any student, either AICT or non-AICT. This offer is only for students. So you have to pay just 2000 rupees to get everything that we have discussed in the past four days. You know, we have been personally getting calls from parents that this is something we were looking for. And this is something which we wanted our child to learn from. I don't know when, but we didn't get a platform. You know, in fact, when I look at myself, and if I have to give this one advice to my younger self, I would say learn two things. One, meditation. Second, how to read faster. If you have these two skills, I can tell you, you can beat anyone. And you can be where you want to be. Okay, so if you, uh, if you cannot match the timing, it's perfectly fine. We keep having sessions. As I mentioned, lifetime membership means this. If we have a session next time, even the session is of 5,000 rupees, you will not have to pay again. That's, that's considered as a student discount. What's the deadline? I think the deadline would be 10 p.m. Today, 10 p.m., the link closes. We have already closed the link yesterday, but because we had to keep a session today, we had opened it again. Sorry for that, uh, Shri Hari. Uh, you know, uh, I'll tell you one more thing, you know. Uh, how much fees do you pay in your college? What is the fees for one year? Okay, those who are requesting for the link, I'll just send you the link here. Yes, here you go. Okay. One lakh, on an average, 50,000 to one lakh. Uh, some premium colleges, it could be like two lakhs, 1.5 lakhs. Now, for four years, it would be around four lakhs. Okay. Does your engineering degree guarantee you a job? Yes or no? Hard fact of life. The engineering which you are doing, 10 lakh students are doing that same engineering. If you have seven point mark, seven pointer or 70% marks, there are at least seven lakh, eight lakh people who have the similar marks you have. 
how are you going to be separate or ahead of all those people by having these additional soft skills you know as uh, if you are not there in the previous session there is something called as domain knowledge there is something called as soft skills what was the percentage of soft skills that was required 85 to 87% right if i ask you how much time how much money have you spent in gaining the domain knowledge what would your answer be from kg 2 or kindergarten or nursery you started spending money just to gain what domain knowledge how much time have you spent almost 15 years 15 yes 15 years and if the total amount of money that your parents have spent on just giving you the domain knowledge aspect what would it be you can just write a number and i'll add lakhs into that right on an average 1 crore very nice kartik is from a rich family to be uh, to tell you a story my fees for engineering you will feel very bad to listen to this but i must tell you was only 13000 nearly 15 to 20 lakh you know you spent almost 20 lakh rupees till now just to get domain knowledge and when it comes to something which is which you feel important which you feel it is necessary for you then we start giving ourselves reason okay what is the use of it i'll do it later and 2000 rupees sounds so much what happens today in 2000 rupees yaar you buy one pair of clothes it is gone but these skills are something which will be with you forever for your life and i'm i can tell you this this is something which you will not get anywhere anywhere in my personal so i have been an entrepreneur i have been the a secretary of the clubs i have been so many different hats nowhere could i get all these skills nowhere don't forget you are an iitian of course i know i am an iit that's why i'm telling you engineering was of no use being an iitian from a college which says that engineering is everything i know this for a fact even iitians don't get jobs because when it comes to presentation we are zero when it comes to talking to the interviewer we make, we go for an interview and we are like scared we even if we know things we are not able to say what is the point of knowing isn't it what do you say extremely important if at this point of time i i can tell you this you guys are really very lucky if you are going to get whatever we have discussed right now i really say this to myself that why didn't i do this earlier in my past you know i was such a horrific reader i used to take a book and i used to sleep in like 2 minutes my mom was fed up of me i just did engineering somehow i managed to pass so my stories of education are very uh, it's all what you call it i don't know the term in english hindi mein bolte na kaam chalao it was like that but today whatever i'm doing in my life how much ever uh, if you say successful i am it's not because i'm an iitian it's because i have developed all these skills how to get to iit with that habits so which branch of engineering you are from i am from sadly mechanical engineer very sad but yes coding schedule c mukund i can tell you this okay hold on your question you can give n number of reasons not to do soft skills training because at this point of time you don't value it coding learning every other technical skill you can learn any point of time in life but these skills need time to develop training the mind training how to read faster improving your memory understanding what you want in your life 
this is something invaluable 2000 is absolutely nothing for it let me be very honest with you if you go for a speed reading program online minimum 300 dollars minimum if you get richik sir cost this program 5000 rupees i take the memory workshop for 3000 rupees the original cost for meditations program is 2000 we are giving it everything because we want that students of india aict also wanted this that's why they called us that they have all these skills additional with them the program is actually a lifetime it's not like a four day program but the program starts tomorrow it's an introductory program where we start learning new things that's a four day two hours every day and then after you enroll you get to know all the details of one one program that we'll do okay let me just uh, stop the chat for some time so that people can get the link and then if you have questions i can tell you this if you do not register you are missing out on a big opportunity you're not going to get this again number one second you know you will have to convince start convincing your parents for what is good for you this is a skill which you need to develop that's that's the reality sometimes parents don't know what speed reading is i have not given the explanation to them i have given it to you now it's your job to tell your parents ki why this is important for you are you getting it and if if you are one of those who are who is thinking in the mind if my friend goes then only i will go please do not come this is not for you if you are dependent on your friend for your success i can tell you if your friend gets a job he is not going to wait for you so there are only three factors first is time that you will have to prioritize aapke liye kya zaruri hai aap kya seekhna chahte ho ye aapko khud prioritize karna padega second either my if my friend is coming then only i'll come if your friend comes you also come great but if you are dependent not going to work third of course you will have to convince your parents that's a hard skill i know how hard it is because when i told my parents that i want to do a program worth 2000 rupees they like you're already so chilled out you don't care about anything you're so stress free why do you want to learn meditation then i did i did whatever i could do to gather like i asked my friends i was in college that time i don't know you if you have that liberty i asked my friends to lend something and all that i didn't go to like people used to go out when the mess was off i didn't go for or i don't know how many how many times i saved money and then i did it it's not so easy you don't know the hard part na everybody says only the uh, good parts of the story nobody shares the hard part okay how did i actually enter or how did i actually do it but of course it is hard for every good thing you'll have to face challenges in life so you have the link and i can tell you if you are in this batch you are you, you really should, should do th this is the only difference you know what a difference between a person who is in iit right now and a person who is not in iit right now it's only this he actually studied much more than you in 11th and 12th and for whatever reason you couldn't study so much right how many of you say that if i there's a possibility that i would have done better than what i have done right now how many of you say yes to this type in the chat box perfect you know the difference between iit and a non iit person is not about the iq the iq points must be like 5 10% if you want to consider you know what are the major difference is if a person you know in iit also we offer the same program out of 1000 students 700 usually enroll 700 if you give this opportunity to an iit 
if he sees i can reach point a to point b faster in life i'll take it up i'll decide to take it up person who is not in iit right now did only this one mistake do you want after four years say the same thing oh i would have done better in engineering ask this question to yourself if the answer is no i would say register for the program yeah the program is for youth only that's that's what i was saying the program is for 2000 rupees the registration deadline is 10 pm today okay so i'm going to share the link right now in the chat and you can those who have questions and you want to ask questions you can wait for 2 3 more minutes and then i'll open the floor for questions which iit you belong sir please i am from iit bhu sir how much has mechanical engineering helped you it helped me a lot because it gave me a different perspective of looking at things you know because of mechanical engineering yoga is very interesting you know why because that's mechanics of the body i relate my mechanical engineering on the body so there